At that time, a leper came to Jesus imploring him and kneeling said to him, If you will, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean. And Jesus sternly charged him and sent him away at once and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded as a proof to them. But he went out and began to talk freely about it and to spread the news so that Jesus could no longer openly enter a town, but was out in desolate places, and people were coming to him from every quarter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, as we listen to this passage, we may not truly understand the intensity of what is actually happening here. During Jesus' time and during biblical times, leprosy and the person suffering from leprosy was considered as a curse or someone under a curse. So much so that they could not associate they had to ring a bell and that when they would walk, everyone would shudder and move, move away. They were ostracized, considered cursed or accursed and under the punishment of God. So the person who was suffering from leprosy suffered not only the physical ailment and the pain, but alongside the mental, the spiritual, the psychological agony of isolation and desolation, considering totally unfortunate and believing that the person has committed a sin that deserved punishment. It is into this context that person suffering from this deadly or this disease comes to Jesus. We could imagine the plight or the sight of the apostles, what would have been their condition. Perhaps they would have shuddered, wanted to run away. But Jesus not only stands and walks towards walk walks towards this leper, but Jesus touches him. Jesus stretches his hand and touches the leper. He heals the leper as the person suffering with leprosy cries out, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And Jesus was moved with compassion. Another translation says that Jesus felt for this leper. Like he felt his pain, his agony, his, his torment, his isolation, his desolation, his loneliness, his depression. And it's kind of Jesus takes everything into himself and stretches out his hand in compassion, in mercy and lifts him out, out of the pit to experience the fullness of life. As we are celebrating this Eucharist, we may not be suffering from leprosy, but all of us have a journey to make. And all of us are in some kind of a pit. We are going through some kind of pain or desolation or struggle. All of us have some questions that have no answer. So in our pain, in our desolation, 
we are invited, like this person suffering, to cry out to Jesus in faith. And it is the firm trust that we that 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 the gospel relays to us and proclaims to us that Jesus just as he felt the pain not only the physical pain but the mental spiritual agony of the leper knows our feeling that is why exodus chapter 3 god revealed to moses about the heart of god's people he says he he reveals to him that i have seen the suffering of my people I have heard their cry on account of the taskmasters. Indeed, I know their pain and therefore I am coming down to save them. That is our God, my dear people. A God who sees, a God who hears, a God who he knows us, a God who feels with us and a God who comes down into our pain, into the dungeon of our suffering to lift us up from the pit so that we may experience life in all its fullness. And this is the, the experience for us in every Eucharist. When the Lord enters into us body and blood, soul and divinity, he enters into the pit of our pain. He enters into the dungeon of our suffering. He enters into the depth of our struggle, not just to be there, but to lift us up into healing, into his resurrection and into his wholeness. As we celebrate this Eucharist, our Lord touches us. He heals us wherever we are. But we too have a responsibility. We too encounter people suffering. Just as I said, we may not encounter people who are suffering with leprosy alone, but in our homes and in our workplaces, among the ones we relate, there may be people who are going through this isolation, desolation, depression, pain, not being understood. And all of this is like the leprosy today. A person being ostracized. Maybe it is happening right in our homes. And so what is Jesus inviting us to do? Just as in this Eucharist, Spiritually and physically, he reaches out to us. Jesus teaches us that we have a duty and a responsibility to be sensitive, to feel with the other. That this Eucharist will be an empty celebration if we just celebrate it, we feel good about it and go back. And go back to our work. But rather, this Eucharist should spur us, should enthuse us to reach out to the broken and to the wounded whomever the Lord leads us to. As this word becomes flesh on this altar, our healing God, the merciful God, our loving God, the compassionate one, knocks at the door of our heart this morning. What will our response be? Amen.